We're Eric, Chandra, and Pooh Bear, and this is our bus, Bonnie. In June of 2020, after years of dreaming of full-time travel, we brought home a school bus to convert into a completely custom tiny home on wheels. At 10 months in and a goal of being road ready by the end of the summer, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Today's video is a week's worth of electrical work. We do everything from installing an outlet to wiring up our 12 volt fuse block, as well as wiring up our 110, 120 volt system to the breaker box. So a lot has happened since we installed our custom windows. We insulated the ceiling, we framed out our electrical closet, we started installing the electrical by putting in some outlet and light switch boxes, as well as running some of the wire through. We also framed out our bathroom. Now that you're all caught up, let's get to it. It's our first day at the bus this week because we have had a huge, we have had a huge heat wave. It was over a hundred for a few days. Um, so those are not bus working conditions. Now I'm about to run the 14 gauge wire that we have for 14, 14 gauge wire that I'm about to run for the 12 volt system. Um, that's these. So I just finished running all of the 12 volt as well as the remaining one um, 110 volt. Anyway, we're done completely with running all of the wires. You can see 12 volt here and the yellow is the 110 volt. Today is Thursday. Um, we haven't gotten much done so far except for I stained the legs for the roof deck. Currently, Eric is going to try to install one of these. So I'm wearing a mask because this wool, I am like sensitive to it or allergic to it or something and it gets my allergies all messed up. I managed to get the outlet wired up, which I'm very proud of. Eric couldn't get it to work for some reason, but I got it taken care of. So this is what that looks like now. So this is what that outlet looks like. Um, we stripped a little much, so we ended up fixing that. Now that the first outlet is in, I'm going to finish putting in some outlets in the back of the bus, like for the bedroom. And Eric is working on. I'm building a wall right now for the couch. It's gonna basically divide the living room, the kitchen. about to leave the bus. Today's a tough day for us because both of us are feeling very like slow, not motivated. And it's hard when both of us are like that because then neither of us can like get the other one moving. So we got a little bit done today. Um, not as much as we wanted to get done, but let me just show you what we're leaving having accomplished, which is very minimal but you know. Today we put up this divider wall that is going to divide our living room or our couch from the kitchen. Um, what else did we get done today? Oh, we hidden. We wired an outlet there. That's gonna be for like the desk area. I wired a couple of outlets back here, that outlet. That outlet's partially done. I got frustrated and couldn't finish it. And then I finished staining the blocks. Um, these are the blocks for our roof deck. These are like the feet for the roof deck. This is the update on our electrical closet. We have nothing wired together. Everything is like ready to go, but we need to get some more supplies for that. So like I said, we didn't quite get a lot done today. A little slow. Um, hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Um, so today is Friday and 
and today is an errand day for us. We went to Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Home Depot. We went to Goodwill. Goodwill. Platt, an electrical store. Those guys are super nice. If you guys need electrical stuff in the Pacific Northwest, go to Platt. Yeah, they were very helpful. Um, we obviously didn't know much of anything what we were doing, and they were very nice about it and very helpful. We went to Walmart. We went to two different Walmarts and just left the dump. And now we are going to go to an Amazon locker to pick up an Amazon order. And we made it to the bus. It's Saturday, the last day of the week. It's pretty warm today. I think it's gonna be like a little bit over 80, um, but we've got nice airflow in the bus, so it shouldn't be too bad in here. Eric is working on getting the 12 volt wired into the block. So all of the 12 volt comes through here, through there, and then it'll go down into this little block. So we got dimmer lights, so we needed dimmer switches, or, okay, we got dimmable lights, so we needed dimmer switches. So we got these. They're basically a switch with a button on the bottom, so the button turns it on and off, and then you can dim it. This is what it looks like, a little, and then the dimmer. I'm not sure how to wire them yet, but I'll figure it out. And then it comes with, I call these hats. So now this, like I said, is gonna be for the roof fan. So then you just go and stick it right there. This was the box that our 12 volt block came in. It came with fuses and um, stickers, which literally none of them apply. I think maybe one of them does, uh, the water pump. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm just wiring it up to the terminal. I'm just marking it with my finger. We'll probably go like right about there. So I marked it with my finger. I'm gonna take my wire clippers and just cut the excess off. Now I'll take the terminal and I take my wire strippers, put on the 14 gauge and I squeeze down so that way you can strip the wire. Now you take your crimpers you put the terminal in, each hole or each color represents um, a terminal or a wire size. So I'm just going to be using the middle one because we're using 14 gauge. You're just going to do it enough to where you get a single click so that way you don't have to hold it. The, the tool will actually be holding it. Put it through the hole. Right here. So now you can see the wire coming out the other end. This is too much right here is about what I would do. When you squeeze it tight, and then you got a perfectly crimped terminal. What I would recommend is giving it a few tugs to make sure it's fine, but as you can see, the wire's not moving. After that, I'll be good to take off the screw that is on the positive for this fuse. You're going to push the screw through and make sure that the flat side is going to be on the bottom, making contact with the metal right here. Make sure it's nice and snug. And there you go. So I just repeat the process with the negative one and then make it look nice and pretty and be done. I finished up the 12 volt, which looks super nice. I love, I love cable management. Um, so now I'm just wiring the 120 volt that we have for whatever reason our freaking breaker box didn't come with an uh, a ground wire thing so we got to go buy a ground one. bar a ground bar um so i'm just gonna skip that but i got plenty of slack for it so this is gonna be our um, neutral wire bar uh, you literally just push it in tighten the screw and be done this is gonna be where all of our breakers go we have like four 20 amp breakers because all of these are going to be 20 amp plugs our box came with breakers uh, it came with three of them 
So we got pretty lucky with that. We just had to buy a fourth one. No, we yeah. didn't get lucky. I did my research. She did her research. What? Uh, I got the 110 panel all wired up. I just need the ground bar. So we just need to run to the store for that. I just want to look. So yeah, got all the grounds here. All the whites or all the neutrals connected. Breakers are all set to the off position. Nice so. job, love. I'm done. Looks awesome. Break is over. We had to go to Home Depot to get the ground bar that we were talking about earlier. Had to reroute one of the connections because there wasn't enough slack. So that's what he's doing now. But you can see the ground bar is in and that's what your bare wire connects to. So while Eric's working on connecting the rest of the uh, breaker wires, um, we have this huge pile of junk going on. Um, most of it is literally just like cardboard from electrical components that we've purchased, um, but we don't want to get rid of the boxes yet because we want to connect everything together and make sure it all works properly. But I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up. We're going to start framing out the couch here soon. Um, probably within the next couple days. So want to have enough space to do that.